Hey everyone, uh, Alina Valiant here. Today I wanted to review this sewing machine that we bought. It's called Faf or Salad P. I don't know. Faf, Faf. But yeah, let's let's see how it works. It looks like this. Yeah, just put it in the case. Take the case out. like that and also I went ahead and bought some thread to try let me just show you how it works because I actually read the instructions <laughs> just wanted to say that I really like the sewing machine it's fantastic for beginners very easy to use if you read the instructions and or if you watch a couple of reviews you should be ready to go we use this for reupholstering our couch. It was extremely easy to use. I will post the link down below for you. You can check it out. And with the color, it's very green. It doesn't go with anything because I put the case on it all the time. I don't want any dust to go in it. I, I like keeping my machine clean and tidy and dust free. So I always put this case on it. And it's green. I have nothing green in my house. It doesn't go with anything. That's why I always put it away um, in a cupboard until it's out of the way. Other than that, it's fantastic. Like, I love it. I used a sewing machine in my country. My mom had a Soviet USSR sewing machine that was like a massive, gigantic box. It, it, it was tall like that and you had to put your feet on it and you had to use all your body to move like all your body had to move so that you could sew it was a nightmare in my video I'm saying that I used a sewing machine four times in my life and twice I broke the sewing machine and it was my mum's sewing machine because it was just horrible to use but this one is so simple, like you just put your foot on the paddle and that's it, you're ready to go. Even my husband was able to use this sewing machine and he has never used a sewing machine before. So it's that simple, you just have to know how to put the thread around. That's the trickiest part you need to know and how to thread it and how to put the bobbin in it. That's it. So I'll show you how to use the sewing machine. This is the place for the bobbin. You just press it to the right and it opens and you put your bobbin in here and you can close it easily. That's it. It comes with a compartment here. So if you want to keep your thread or your extra bobbins, um, you just open it like that and it has lots of things that you might need this is going to be uh, wherever you're going to be putting your thread so let me just show you it comes with something like that that just you put it in here push it down a little bit and that's it So you're just going to put it right here. It doesn't matter how you want to put it, but this one is pretty big at the bottom. So if you put it here, it's going to be touching the pin for the bobbin and it's going to be difficult for it to turn around. So I would advise you to put it upside down like that. And if you want to load the bobbin, this is the place for the bobbin. So you just Put it here, grab the thread, put it right here underneath this and then go around this thing like so. It's showing you how to do it. So like that. Put it behind it and just wrap it around a little bit and press it to the right like so otherwise you won't be able to load this so put the, th put the thread behind the bobby pin 
push it to the right. So I'll show you how to use the foot pedal. You insert this thing right here, and just press it properly so that it's in. One end has the foot pedal, and the other end has to be plugged in. There's a switch here. This says zero, this says one. It means if you press it, it's gonna turn the machine on. And you can tell whether the sewing machine is on or off. If you look here, there is a light here. And if I turn it off, the light is gonna go off. If I turn it on, you're gonna have light. So this is how you can tell whether the sewing machine is on or off. Now I'll show you how to load the bobbin. So remember, you press it to the right, you just have to put your foot on the paddle and just push it down. Like so. Hold the thread. If it's very big, it's going to be going everywhere. So just hold it like that so it doesn't jump and hit your forehead or something. When you push the paddle and it's not turning around anymore, it means that it's full. Don't push it, otherwise you're going to break it. So when you're done loading your bobbin, open it like that. Take it out and cut the thread from here. That's it. If you want to insert the bobbin into the bobbin case, hold the bobbin like so, so that the thread is to your left, not to your right. And just put it in here. You can see this notches here. Hold your thread tightly. Come a little bit this way and put the thread under this notch and under the second one too. Just push it down a little bit. And that's it. You're done. Um, now that, let me explain you how to put your thread around all this little things here. This is a bit a bit tricky. This is uh, where you have to read instructions and of course nobody has time for that but I'll show you how to do it so that it's much easier. So put your thread underneath this thing. You don't need this. This is only for uh, loading your bobbin. So put it underneath this and put it at the back of this little hook here. See this line here? It has an arrow pointing down. Put your thread in in it, and there is another arrow pointing up here. So go around like that. If you want this thing to come a little bit further, use the handle, move it up or down, and it's going to come up. It's going to make your work a bit easier. So put your thread around it like that. See this little hook? I'll do it again for you. Go around like that and hold your thread like so and insert it in this hook. So it looks like that. It's inside this little hole here. Go down. Arrows are showing you, arrows are guiding you all the way through. And when you see this little hook, you just put the thread um, behind it. See this little hook here? You have to put your thread behind it, like so. And that's it. Now I'll show you how to thread your needle. So this is the needle threader. You can see, you can push it down or up, it goes up and down and then goes forward and backwards push it down like that. See this little hook right here? Right there. So the thread has to go underneath that and go around like that. And then push it all the way down your needle threader. There's a tiny little hook that it's coming through your needle hole. So put your thread, again I'll show you, put it around like that put it underneath this thing and just push it to the back and that's it it's threaded
that you're going to be using this um, handle. Push it down and hold your thread. Keep moving the handle towards you and don't let this end of the thread go. Just hold onto it. You can see the thread is coming out. So push it up and grab the bobbin thread. And that's it. Now you have to close this. See this little line here? The thread has to go underneath that thing, like so. That's it, you're ready to sew now. So I just grabbed a piece of fabric that we had around the house. I'll show you how to sew it. Put this underneath here and use this handle, push it towards you until the needle goes all the way down. Always pull your thread here because they might get tangled here. And when your needle is all the way down, there is a little lever here. Just push it down like that. And the only thing that you need to do is put your foot on the paddle and start pressing it. When you want to take your fabric out, Push the lever up like that and if your needle is all the way down you don't want to pull the fabric otherwise it's going to rip the fabric off or uh, break the needle and by the way my husband broke a needle when he was trying to help you with your upholstery because he didn't know that you can just use this little handle here push it towards you and it's going to make the needle come up and when it's all the way up like that, you're ready to take the fabric out of here. And just cut it. If you want to tighten it, by which I mean make a knot, hold this fabric, push the fabric down, and pull this thread up. And you can see the other thread right here is gonna come out, right there. If I pull it up, the thread from this side is going to come out from the other side. So let's try again. So pull it up like that and try. Yep, that's it. Look, it's coming out from the other side. And now this is going to help you have a beautiful knot that no one is going to see from the other side. Pull it up, both threads and make a knot. That's it. You can cut the thread. I really hope the review was helpful. Thank you so much for watching the video. And please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Bye.